Hello there, I'm AJ Puzzle Ferret, and welcome back to Tainted Grail, the Fall of Avalon, where we are back at the main uh, encampment, uh, and I need to find the chap that uh, gave us the task of picking up some important documents uh, from uh, the uh, the pub that he lost over here. This is the guy, uh, hopefully, and uh, uh, we're not sure if he's actually... I hope this is the guy. Oh, I'm always getting these people mixed up. Anyway, let's see. You're yeah, back. You Hi. Hello. Uh, I've got the documents. You were right. Uh, there were no problems. <laughs> Here. I told you, Ron is a good guy. Uh -huh. And here's a little something for you. You know I pay well. Yeah. To be honest, Ron was a bit confused. I don't know how you uh, to tell you this, but you're dead. Yes. Uh, yes. Oh, what's the matter, my friend? You're supposed to be dead. You, well, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> you're really good at this today. Wait. Oh. Oh, you're serious. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're dead, mate. I understand. For so many years, I've been afraid to open Ooh, this letter. But it looks like I needed to read it. Oh, he's a ghost. Well, is what it is, right? <laughs> uh -huh. I've been wondering why no one wants to talk to me. I thought to myself, are they mad? We were the only one who could see. But why are you talking to me? How can you see me? I wish I knew is a very good response to that. I have a passenger inside me who must have wanted to help. Mm -hmm. Anyway, may yeah. your mother bless your path. Thank see you, you next time. Next time? What, you're going to reappear sometime? Mmm, creepy. Okay, so yeah, he's a ghost. Wow, that I was not expecting. Uh, I was expecting him to just be like another, uh, uh, like someone who's pretending to be CG Bold, but, uh, but no, evidently not. Okay, fine. Uh, well, we, we resolved that situation quite nicely. Was there a chap in here? I feel like there was a chap in here that we were supposed to be uh, dealing with. Yeah, this guy. Did we? Oh, it's you. I've been thinking lately. Have you? What if King Arthur is just a stupid fairy tale? Nope, nope. He the isn't. nobles and others involved in the whole Not conspiracy in just made him up. Uh -huh. And us peasants finally start to believe in it. <laughs> you know, one story for everyone. Mm. They drilled it into our heads and drilled and drilled until it finally stuck. Yeah. And then they built statues, wrote books, and everything else. And everything else, yes. Uh, you may be right. Uh, that's not correct. You know, it's impossible to make something like that up. I don't know. You could make up some history. You may be right. You imagine. You finally get it. It's just a pity that there are so few like us. Yeah. Well, we just have to keep going, eh? Uh -huh. And while we're at it, I have to get back to work. I'm on duty. Right, that was a fruitful conversation. Okay, that's still not the person that I was looking for. I was I was looking for a character that we did a quest for earlier and I completely forgot A, where he was, and B, who he was, uh, C, uh, if I could ever find him again, uh, all of that good stuff. Uh, we, we could do with trying to steal the sword again. Yeah, we could definitely do with trying to steal the sword again. Let's see if we can manage it this time. I know, first of all, I will give myself some life. Which also reminds me, I got a new uh, magic skill in, in one of the earlier episodes and I haven't done anything with it, so yeah. <laughs> can I have the sword yet? Give me the sword, give me the sword, give me the sword, give me the sword. Okay, no, it just, it just increases my heavy armor, which is kind of cool. I now have a way to increase my heavy armor. Nice. Okay, there, done. Right, so that's still not possible yet. Can we go through here? We can! Oh, interesting. It does pay to just try stuff occasionally. It really does. Uh, and this time, we tried stuff. Ooh. Okay, I'm under Cursed Knight who was... Uh, no, 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 that went. Alright. We weren't supposed to be in here. This I know. Mmm, wine, gimme. Okay, nice, uh, grotesque. Okay, this appears to be going down into a dungeon. 
Maybe? Why didn't I search this area earlier? I should have searched earlier. Hello there, you. Who are you? What are you doing here? Uh, you? Ah, shit. Another mouth to feed. What? Fergus must have been off his rocker if he thinks I can feed everyone with the little he gives me. Uh -huh. I'm serious. If we don't open the keep soon, we'll have to start eating rats. Not that you I can't like cook them. them in a way that makes you think it's chicken. Yeah. Uh, so he does know what he's doing with rats. Okay, uh, are you always this angry? Could you teach me some recipes? That would oh, be nice. Oh, this is new. Maybe we'll get along after all. The dimwits here never want to learn. Only eat. Huh. Okay. Uh, oh, is, is, maybe he's got recipes then. What recipes have, has he got? Uh, culinary madness with Rumpold. Uh, or cooking for the resistance. Okay, well, we'll, we'll just have those cookbooks. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, what's this one? This is another, another cookbook. Great. Let's have all of the cookbooks. I don't know if I want to buy all of these foods uh, because, I mean, I don't really need all of those foods, do I? So, we'll leave him to it uh, with all of his uh, interesting kitchenery stuff. Hmm. Oh, I don't really want to interfere with his bed. No, uh, no, no. This is quite a simple kitchen. This is quite good. I like this. I would hope that that fire would have a good um, way out for the fire. It doesn't appear as if it does. It just has a, a thing. Yep, it's just a thing. It doesn't. It doesn't take the smoke away. So this room would be full of smoke. <laughs> Not helpful. All right, never mind. Okay, so we've been that way, and that was a kitchen. That was a way out. I'm guessing this way is nothing. No. Ooh, we've got some nice uh, hangings, but uh, yeah. Hello. You look important. Who Welcome to the Museum of the Horns of the South, right. the southernmost keep under Camelot's jurisdiction. Yes. My name is Riderick, and I will be happy to introduce you to the rich history of this fascinating place. Ooh, lovely. A history that began 600 and 23 years ago. Nice. With the first keeper, Sewell Firstfoot. Nice. I'd also like to bring your attention to our numerous exhibits that are, as I like to say, mm. inanimate witnesses of <laughs> the history yeah. of the Horns of the South. You appear to be missing a few things up there. Tell me about the museum exhibits. What exactly do you have here? The museum holds a collection of 72 items of the so-called movable, oh, tangible heritage. Uh -huh. The collection includes big and small items that represent the world surrounding the keepers of the horns of the south okay. from the first to the sixth century of the Avalonian era. Here you will find militaria, craft tools, everyday objects, furniture, textiles, coins, religious artifacts. Nice. Okay, interesting. Uh, which exhibits are the most remarkable? Uh, great. Now I'll get to the point. Is there anything interesting here? Ha! Uh, uh, never mind, I already regret asking. No, let's go to interesting and which exhibits are the most uh, remarkable? I'd say all exhibits are worthy of your attention. Right. But I could point you to the ones I personally think to be the most notable. Uh -huh. Or subjectively, of course. Okay. The most interesting. Go on, then. That is what I asked. Those would be the items that used to belong to Sewell Firstfoot. Hmm. We have his signal horn and also his boots. Those boots were the first to touch Avalonian soil. <laughs> What is also worth mentioning is the tableware used by King Arthur himself during his right. visit to the Horns of the South in the year 15 of the Avalonian era. Okay. Uh, you have Sewell's authentic boots. Can you tell me more about them? 
They're boots. What more could you have to tell about them? Really, SeaWorld's boots? Do you have? Uh, uh, do you also have a relic? SeaWorld's holy socks? Oh no, 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 no. Uh, the signal horn sounds interesting. That did, maybe. His signal horn? Oh yes. Tell me more about the piece of dead cow SeaWorld touched with his lips. Hmm. Uh, tell me more about King Arthur's tableware. Now, tell me more about tell me about the six hundred year old plate. It must be so interesting. Uh, let's do a little bit of learn it about the horn. It is indeed an interesting exhibit. Uh -huh. The horn was used by Sewell during wartime, not only for signalling but also for intimidation. It is fifty centimeters long right. and made of the horn of an ox. Intimidation. It is the colour uh -huh. of yellowed bone with some ash grey discoloration on the narrow end. It has a brass mouthpiece and silver fittings on its wider side and okay. at the middle. The shape of the fittings suggests that the horn was hanging on a leather strap, which unfortunately has not survived to this see. day. I can see why they think it's all boring. That's enough. Uh, I'd like to ask about something else. Yeah, uh, just anything. Just leave, because I don't want to listen to him drone on about that for any longer. Ooh, nice pictures. Ah, lovely. Uh, so I'm guessing this is the cutlery. Boots. There's definitely things missing. Ah, this is the horn. This horn does not match the description. There was silver stuff in the description. I don't see any silver stuff there. So, either that's not the horn, or he messed up his description. That is one of those things that gives us ability to fast travel places. I should not nick his whiskey. However tempting it may be. Ha 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 ha. Okay, nice museum. What's this doing out here? Huh. Okay, and then there's an anchor here. And that appears to be it for the internal structure of the uh, of this place. This was not the door we came in through. In fact, it's locked. Ha! Huh. Where was the door that we came in through? Ah, here we go. Here we go. Brilliant. All right. Nice! Well, I'm glad I went in there. It was interesting to see that uh, that there was a museum in there and the kitchens are in there. That's kind of nice. Okay, but we need to pick one of the quests and see if we can actually complete it. I've completed one quest today. It just involved talking to that ghost over there. Let's see where the other quest is. Uh, we have... Hang on, wait a minute. Is that character in need of leveling up? No! Okay, fine. We'll, we'll do, we won't do that then. Uh, the Fort Dweller asked me to... For more uh, pieces within weirdness. Okay, that's the main quest. Uh, Karadik said he saved us. Oh no, that's the, that is also the main quest. S same thing. Shadow of the Horns. Uh, I am supposed to investigate what is happening at the local cemetery in order to. I did that. Why is this not counted as done? That's curious. Hmm. Huh. Investigate the disappearance of his men, and I should head. I did that. That's all didn't done. I don't know why that's... Um, maybe I didn't finish the quest. Maybe I didn't talk to the guy at the end and say, like, what had happened. I don't know. Uh, the medic gave... Yeah, I, won, I, I did that. But, well, I've not done that, but I've, been, I've not got around to finishing it. Uh, a local medic asked me to perform a druidic ritual at the ancient site of worship. Yes! We've seen the ancient site of worship, and he did ask me to... That was the local um, guy. So, okay. Okay. Uh, uh, the medic asked me to perform a druid ritual at the site of worship. Yes, but he didn't tell me what the... Um, oh, this guy wanted booze, if I remember rightly. Nothing? Nothing to say? Okay, in that case, you can't have the booze then. I've got loads of it, mate. Loads of it. Uh, and, uh, and you're having none. Okay, so what did this guy want with the druidic ritual? He 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 didn't give us like a druid ritual to actually perform. He just he just said that he wanted us to do the druidic ritual, as far as I'm aware. Is he sleeping? What are you sleeping for? I met a knight who's convinced that he's been cursed. Oh, we've curse. actually helped. We're actually helping him. Fascinating. Yeah. I think. Wait, no, I don't need to think. My useless Camelot education only taught me what could be proven. 
Right. So, we never covered the existence of curses in class. Yeah, because it can't be proven. <laughs> I don't think there's a curse. It seems like he truly believes it. He doesn't want to come out from under the bridge. Hmm, let me think. Among people of science, there is an opinion that the mind can get sick, just like the lungs or the heart. Right. I fully agree. If a person believes there's a curse, it will come true, whether real or not. Mm. Sometimes the right mixture of herbs, certain habits, and some carefully chosen words can save a person even when they're deep in the throes of despair or madness. This is Great. a field more suited for druidic magic, however, uh -oh. since Camelot is stuck on the theory and doesn't seem to make any progress with the practice. Yeah, they're I'm not sorry I couldn't give you a tangible stuff. solution, but I hope I've pointed you in the right direction. Yeah, I wish I knew some druid characters. Was there anything else? Uh, that's recipe you were just whispering, uh, whispering to yourself. Uh, isn't your fascination with druids illegal? Yes. You look like you're in dire need of sleep, he says, continually waking the guy up. What exactly are you doing here? He's trying to sleep. This is obvious. Uh, that's a recipe you were just whispering to yourself. It's some local witchcraft I've been trying to make sense of. All oh, right. I guess I'll find out when I try it. Try it on yourself. Experience is the best teacher. Don't worry, I'm not testing anything on the others. Uh -huh. Graham the Mad, a great Camelotian physician, used to say that a real doctor would never give his patient something he hadn't tried on himself first. Yeah. Wise approach, which I follow myself. But if he's called Graham the Mad, then... Uh, yeah, don't you see what the irony? irony? <laughs> Isn't that dangerous? Uh, you could try it on me. Oh, Why that would I was do that? unexpected. <laughs> yeah, yeah, take it. What will happen, I have no idea. But please, tell me, if you right. live to find out. We're trying a random concoction. Herbert's elixir. Uh, okay, let's try the Herbert's elixir, shall we? Because we were told, uh, and that's that's what we're doing. Where is it? Okay, let's try the um, consumables. That seems like the best thing, isn't it? Herbert's elixir. There we go. Consume. There, we have consumed it. Now what? Is that it? I've not turned into a frog yet, so that's good. Uh, is it your fascination with your uh, remedies? You look like you're in dire need of suit. What exactly are you doing here? Nope, 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 nope. All of that's uh, rubbish. So we just take the elixir and nothing happens. That seems to be the case. Uh, another random thing we've walked into, and we've got a little bit of help on one of the other quests, but it's not what I was after, as per usual. Uh, okay, so where the heck am I supposed to find? I thought that he was up there. Maybe he was down in the other area. Ah, I really should have taken more more attention to where I was when I picked up that quest. Maybe I was in there. Ah, now then. How the heck would I get in there? This is a good question. Let's go over the thing and see if we can get in there. We can! Brilliant. We can't. Uh, not so brilliant. Can we duck? Is there a ducking version? Ah, there is. Hooray! We made it in. Uh, to this area, which is useful because... Yes. Um, right. They could do with being more there, or anything. Anything will be nice, yes. Uh, as opposed to what there is, which is to say, nout. All right. No to that, then. I do wish I knew where that character was that I was supposed to be doing the quest for. Mm, it's going to take me a lot of looking around, I can tell. Anyhow, uh, we can go back to the... We need a, we need a, uh, someone else who can help that guy who's under the bridge. And I really don't know where we're going to find someone. Let's go... Um, he's over there. We never did do the druidic ritual. I, I was trying, but uh, evidently not. There was this guy over here. He might be able to help us. He's the ranger. He might be able to help us with the uh, with the quest the uh, for the helping the guy under the bridge because he might know more about druidic stuff than uh, than others. Uh, so with a bit of luck, it's worthwhile trying. We could also do with going up to the men here. 
where there's a couple of bandits around there, but uh, no, but if they're bandits, then I'll just beat them. Uh, if they're not bandits, then I will talk to them, because uh, that is basically what you do. Let's see what this guy has to say for himself, because I'm sure that he's more druidic than the uh, the other guy. Nothing about that then. Okay. Uh, so, what's the story of the sunken village? No, tell me about the local men here. What do you want me to well, say? I'm guessing you already know how a men here works. It keeps I don't know a soul on Avalon who doesn't know that. Yeah. When you're there, watch out for the bandits. They've been trying to gain control of the men here to ensure their own safety. Right. It wouldn't surprise me if this ends up with us fighting over territory tooth and claw like animals. Mm, yeah, okay. Right, so you're about as helpful as uh, this deer is currently just standing around doing nothing. All right, so we tried, uh, and again, we found nothing. That's fine. We still find lessons at every stage. Okay, so let's go and investigate these bandits after saving, because we have, must have achieved something in this time. We must have. <laughs> Okay, let's go through and see what these bandits have got to say for themselves. Can we just talk to them? They're, then labelled as outlaws, so the chances of us being able to just talk to them are epically slim, right? What would we be able to gain from doing this? Aye, aye, there's a dead we person have company. there. We've company, yes. <laughs> Maybe I should be using the other the spells on you. Ah, you're only you're making me angrier. You're great. You're only making me angrier. Yeah, I'm making him deader. <laughs> right. Okay. You you're are done finished. too. I dare say that if you can die horribly to my. Oh, I just picked up everything. Huh. I don't usually do that. All right. Uh. If you can die quickly to my uh, to my stick, then uh, you're, then you're not very good. Ah, I forgot. I wanted to use the other thing, the the spell. Let's swap this out for spell. Where is it? Is it that one? Phantom touch? No, that's not it. Arcane lance. Oh, it's not even all that damaging. Hmm. Okay, fine. Well, we've got it anyway. So number three is Arcane Lance. Now, what's this about? Uh, material something. That's another book. Ooh, great spectral, great spectral sword, as opposed to rubbish spectral sword. That's good. It's always good to have a, a great one as opposed to a poo one. All right, let's have that and the cider and the fish and more stuff and some moonshine. Brilliant. Uh. Okay, so what does having access to the men here do for you? Can we, like, activate the men here somehow? No? Alright. Mm. So basically, you just go there, kill a couple of bandits, and that's, that's your lot, really, isn't it? Thanks, men here. That was very useful. <laughs> Great! Uh, alright, alright, alright. So, more exploring, I guess. I don't know how we're going to cure that other guy. We should really read all of those books that we've got as well. Hmm. I might read a couple of books and come back to you in the next episode. In the meanwhile, you take care. Thanks for watching. Feel free to watch other things on my channel. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Bye for now.